Hello and welcome back everyone. I am Manic Mink. This is Game of Thrones Telltale. Uh, so as we, when we left off, we were on the King's Road with a giant sword after all of our friends got killed. Good job, me. A pig? Okay. I'm looking around. A dead pig. That pig was alive a minute ago. Ghost. Ghost pig killers. Killer ghost pigs, perhaps, even. Okay, looks like I can't go that way. Oh no, this is even worse. Somebody's been... That's father's car. <gasps> How do you know that it's your father's cart? It's just a cart. Anyone could have a cart like that. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. It may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. I recognize you. You're a forester, squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Just want to get to my father. Where'd you get that sword? Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Yes. Now, why don't I believe you? Because you're a tool. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. Don't even care about it. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll have that sword, boy. No, you won't. I. You'll have it. That's not good. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Pitchfork. Axe. You really are a pig. Sword quickly. Mercy, please. No mercy. Kill him. You. Kill him. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. No, please! Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Attack him with a sword. Are 
you running with a knife wound in your leg, too? Father? Garrett! You survived! Your sister! She hid! I tried to stop them! I'll kill the men who did this. Oh man, I already made Iron Wrath. Okay. I thought that would have been weeks ago that, like. It's Garrett! Get the, the guy! Castellan. Tell him his nephew survived! Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, I suppose. Thank you, Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Yeah, yeah, get leg maggots. Me, okay. Ugh. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Okay, I'll put weight on Maggot Leg. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Window. The Ironwood Grove. Don't let that fall. That's what, uh. Friendo said. 
our, our, our dead friend, Lord Forrester. Still trying to get used to these controls. An ironwood shield. Mm. Yeah. The strongest wood in the known world. Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick, he was our best warrior by far. Lady Forrester, she's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Mira, still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. And you? Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Mm hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. A bucket? Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. This might help. I can just steal his medical supplies? I mean, okay. Take some bandages as well. Yep. I talk to the maester uh, just no. yet. You see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. This guy just really wants to cut off legs, doesn't he? Okay. Oop. Oop. There we go. Takes a bit of getting used to these controls, I fear. Oh, look at the maester. How are you doing? Keep moving. I need to see you walk. Okay. I'm... I'll admit, you do seem better than was to be expected. I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Oh, well, I want to... Forrester. Welcome Show home, myself. Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yes, is the answer. It is true. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. Hey, Master, stop, stop chiming in, okay? This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? Hey. Said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester sword. 
Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense I'll into try. the I'll try. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But... I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. Oh, wow. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do right. what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I wonder what would happen if I didn't kill that guy, or was it the first guy that I killed that 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 he counts as the? It's hard to say. Oh, come on, stop the dialogue already. I would like to. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would, and God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great-uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. <sighs> now... I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? Nope, haven't told anyone else. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Lady Forrester asked, but I said nothing. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. 
But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Okay. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Alright, I'll go and become a ranger. <sighs> Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Oh, dear. Wait! Thank you for the necklace. Be safe. I love you too. Bye forever. Oh boy. I wonder if I made the right choice in killing that guy. Maybe it would have been better to not kill him. But surely the guy in charge was from House Bolton. Okay, so we're going to stop it here because I think it's gone on a bit long enough and I have to get going anyway. Uh, so we'll pick this up next time. Anyways, I'm Manic Mink. This is Game of Thrones, and I'll see you later. Take care.